welcome to the online lecture series of turbo machines here is professor lakshman mani this is lecture on axial flow compressor part 7 that is velocity diagram work done and efficiency of axial flow compressor I acknowledge my sincere thanks to the following author and courtesy for being used these concepts to make this video session in this session you will be able to explain velocity diagram of axial flow compressor and you will also be able to explain work done and efficiency of axial flow compressor let us discuss about axial flow compressor so here is a construction of drum type axial flow compressor in axial flow compressor air flows parallel to the axis of compressor moving blades are attached to the rotor fixed blades are attached to the stator row of moving blades followed by a row of fixed blades is called as one stage at the inlet of compressor an extra row of fixed blades is provided is called as inlet guide vein that is ig V. Velocity diagram of single stage axial compressor. As per the discussion, here is a set of inlet guide vein, rotor blades, and stator blades. Air is passing in vertical fashion. So here velocity triangle diagram. Here you can see this is a direction of air flow that is axial. In axial flow compressor all angles are measured with respect to axial direction. So here you can see this velocity of a blade is the same at inlet and outlet means u1 is equal to u2. So this is a IGV means inlet guide vein. This is a rotor blade and this is a stator blade. So here this is a stage that is velocity triangle at inlet and outlet it becomes one stage now here these are the values h01 p01 and t01 these are the total values means enthalpy pressure and temperature at inlet while H02, P02, and T02 are the total values at exit of compressor. In the moving blade, these are the static values at inlet of moving blade, and these are the static values at exit of moving blade, means rotor blade. So, here now we will see in detail about the velocities. So V1 and V2, absolute velocity of air at inlet of rotor blade. VW1 and VW2 is whirl velocity. VF1, VF2 flow velocity. VR1, VR2 relative velocity. And U1 is equal to U2 means mean blade velocity. As far as as angles are concerned, is alpha. is the angle that is exit angle of fixed blade theta is a inlet angle of moving blade beta is a inlet angle of fixed blade and phi is a exit angle of moving blade now here v0 is absolute velocity entering inlet guide vein at an angle of alpha 0 and v3 is absolute velocity leaving the 
fixed blade at an angle of alpha 1. Work done of axial flow compressor. Work done per second is given by the impulse momentum principle means mass flow rate into initial velocity minus final velocity. Now as the compressor is power consuming device, so it is with negative sign. So minus m dot in a bracket initial velocity is Vw1 u1 minus final velocity is Vw2 u2. Solving the bracket we can have this equation as u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u so we can have here work done per second is equal to m dot into vw2 minus vw1 bracket complete into u that this is a power now work done per kz is given as vw2 minus vw1 into u in joule per kz or is equal to cp into t0 to minus t01 in joule per kz ts diagram of axial flow compressor so here we can see a path of air which is flowing through the compressor so air is entering at point 0 0.01 0 0.1 to 1 suction take place 1 to 2 here compression take place in a moving blade and 2 to 0 2 is a pressure rise which take place in diffuser blade so isentropic efficiency is given as general formula ideal work divided by actual work so in the form of cp delta t it can be written as cp into t02 dash minus t01 divided by cp into t02 minus t01 now we will see hs diagram of axial flow compressor air enters the rotor blades with velocity v1 and leaves the compressor at higher velocity v2 so here is a hs diagram here you can see 0 1 to 1 is a suction from point number one means p1 to p2 is a compression in rotor then this two to three is a compression in stator blades and three to zero three is a exit from the diffuser so p03 is a total value at exit of compressor and p01 is a total value at inlet of compressor so between 0 1 to 1 here is a kinetic energy that is v1 square by 2 and between 3 to 0 3 here is a kinetic energy v3 square by 2 in this case h02 is equal to h03 is in a diffuser there is no enthalpy change now as per the concept of static and total values we know that static value plus dynamic value means kinetic energy that is equal to stagnation value so here for the point number one t1 temperature t1 to t01 we can have this equation that is cp t1 plus v1 square by 2 is equal to cp into t01 similarly we can write cp t2 plus v2 square by 2 is equal to cp t02 so from this we can arrange the equation and we can have these equations now as per these two equations we can write third equation for velocity 3 that is cp bracket t0 t03 minus t3 is equal to v3 square by 2 so this is a energy in rotor inlet this is a energy kinetic energy at rotor outlet and this is a kinetic energy at stator inlet in the form of enthalpy so this is a temperature ratio by using thermodynamics concept 
so for isentropic process we can have temperature ratio is equal to pressure ratio raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma compressor stage efficiency by using hs diagram isentropic efficiency for a stage now we have seen that stage means rotor plus stator that becomes a stage so isentropic efficiency general formula means ratio of ideal work to actual work ideal work is shown by dotted line that is vertical line and this is a continuous line is shown that is for actual work so here isentropic efficiency is written as h03 dash minus h01 is enthalpy drop in ideal divided by actual enthalpy drop in the form of temperatures it can be written as shown here now by cancellation of cp we get isentropic efficiency is equal to t03 dash minus t01 divided by t03 minus t01 now no work is done in diffuser means here in ideal case hence p03 is equal to p02 so t03 dash is equal to t02 dash and t02 3 is equal to t02 hence this equation is becoming like this isentropic efficiency is equal to p02 dash minus t01 divided by t02 minus t01 polytropic efficiency of axial flow compressor polytropic efficiency is a ratio of polytropic work to actual work by the thermodynamics general gas equation we can write polytropic work as n upon n minus 1 into p2 v2 minus p1 v1 where n is a polytropic index this equation we can write in the form of gas constant specific gas constant that is r so here temperature difference come now here this t0 to minus t01 from numerator and denominator getting cancelled so we find here n upon n minus 1 into r upon cp now by the concept of thermodynamics ratio of temperature is equal to ratio of pressure so ratio to n minus 1 upon n now taking log of both side we can write ln of temperature ratio is equal to ln of pressure ratio raised to n of minus 1 divided by n further we can write this n minus 1 divided by n times natural log of pressure ratio so here n upon n minus 1 is equal to we get ln of pressure ratio divided by ln of temperature ratio as we know that cp minus cv is equal to r by dividing both side of the equation by cp we find here one here we find one upon gamma because gamma is equal to cp upon cv and uh, this is r upon cp so by solving this we find left side gamma minus 1 upon gamma is equal to r upon cp now we can put expressions for these two expressions from these two and we can write polytropic efficiency is equal to natural log of pressure ratios divided by natural log of temperature ratios into gamma minus 1 upon gamma so at the end of this session you can explain velocity diagram of axial flow compressor and you can explain work done and efficiency of axial flow compressor if you like this video please subscribe and share